Hello boys and girls. Today I wanna test out the Barlight camp stove. Just unpack the whole thing. I really like this nice stuff sack that comes with it. the thermal unit with the fan and so that's my test setup for today we have the biolite camp stove with a little bit of natural fuel I've got my titanium cup with water to dry out how fast it boils it and I've got my phone my tablet and my headlamp with the charging cable to charge up the devices and look how this works. Let's see how the BioLite cam stove performs. To start the fire I take the little helper here. I start the van and let's see feed the little stove you see the little charging lamp here and this indicates it's not ready to charge external devices and it's charging the internal battery that drives the fan the fire starting nice feed it with a little fuel it really really burns nice and hot and it's eating the fuel and I've got the van setting on low you also could push it on for higher mode now the fire is going very well and I've put the fan on the high position and now the third lead down here indicates green so now it should charge the devices we will try it and I uh, recognized when the fire is really hot then you could stuff in even uh, wet wood and it will burn it off but, and it burn it off very quickly the fuel so but now try out it will charge our devices go in the higher mode and for the first test I will plug in the phone now it's Let's charging it with the headlamp There should be coming up a green light, not visible now at the day light, but I can tell you, yes, it's blinking. Can you see it? Yes, it's blinking. So it charges up the headlamp too. One of the best materials to feed the camp stove is such little hacked and very dry wood that burns really nice and hot so 
So, now test it with the tablet. And you can see it's charging the tablet. I will charge up my tablet and while this I will cook me one nice cup of coffee. So let's try how long it takes one cup of water to boil. One complete cup of water. And the water is nicely burned, boiling two minutes to take the cup of water to boil. Not too bad. Of course, you have to feed the fire constantly with these little sticks. And it's not the most efficient way, but if you're cooking, if you're making fire in an emergency situation, it's great to have this little stove that also could power up your electronic devices outdoor. I also got a thermal camera here and if we look through the thermal camera and as the burning chamber fills up with ash the fire place goes higher and then the charging goes off because it's not enough uh, heat on the thermal sensor inside so for a long term charge it's not really the, the best option turbo charge stove this is really perfect I like the Biolite cam stove for the hot burning and the ventilation in the chamber but for charging up your electronic devices it's maybe not the best option so it works but it works slowly and as mentioned you've got the problem left that if you uh, burn it and use it for a long time the chamber fills up with the ash and that makes a little problem so the end conclusion is a nice stove, really good burning capabilities, it charges even the new devices, but it charges them slow and as it goes on and off in the process, uh, when the fire is not hot enough, it does not charge, so you have to keep the fire really hot to charge it on the go and not the optimal solution. Nice, but not optimal. You really have to keep the fire going on very, very hot. Then the green blade is shown and the charging is provided. The charger back stays really cool. I can touch it, no problem at all. This side it even feels cool, and that's even 
it's near this really hot burner chamber and I would not dare to touch this but this one feels really cool feed it again feed it with the little sticks and that's about the maximum it takes but it works 